Today was the deadline for Duke students to move off campus unless they were given an extension to stay. This comes after university officials decided to suspend all residential activities as the coronavirus threat strengthens. CBS 17's Crystal Price shows us how this is creating a financial hardship for some and how the community is stepping in to help. Troy Zahn is a sophomore at Duke. So here's all our stuff. The engineering major found out a week ago he was going to be forced to move out of his dorm. The situation was just handled really poorly. This is my roommate. Zal says he couldn't go home to Pennsylvania and that he needs to stay in Durham because of his job. While many students applied for extensions to stay on campus, he says the process took too long. We had one week to find a place to live and we got really lucky. But we're going to move to an apartment off campus. He says it's taking a toll on him financially and mentally. We don't really have that same energy to spend on classes now that we have to worry about where we are going to live. But the community is stepping in to help. Students and employees have created the Duke Mutual Aid effort. That includes this food drive organized by Duke student Emma Cairns. She's collecting food for students who will no longer have access to on-campus meals. For us, we had to make sure that where Duke was slacking, we were picking up the slack. The group is also helping students find off-campus housing and transportation services. Zal says he's glad the university is taking steps to protect students, but he says it's creating quite the hardship for them as well. I think it's reasonable that we would close campus, but I think they should have kept the dorms open for people who had nowhere else to go. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. University officials say that students who paid for on-campus housing and a meal plan will get reimbursed for any unused housing and food credits. For more information on the Duke Mutual Aid Program and how you can help, go to our website, cbs17.com.